6. Lose weight. Dieting influences the way your body absorbs and produces cholesterol. A two-year study of 90 adults on one of three randomly assigned weight loss diets found weight loss on any of the diets increased the absorption of cholesterol from the diet and decreased the creation of new cholesterol in the body. Over these two years, good HDL increased while bad LDL did not change, thus reducing the risk of heart disease. In another similar study of 14 older men, bad LDL decreased as well, providing even more heart protection. A study of 35 young women showed decreased creation of new cholesterol in the body during weight loss over six months. Overall, weight loss has a double benefit on cholesterol by increasing beneficial HDL and decreasing harmful LDL. Summary, weight loss reduces total cholesterol, in part by decreasing the creation of new cholesterol in the liver. Weight loss has had different, though generally beneficial, effects on HDL and LDL in different studies. 7. Don't smoke. Smoking increases the risk of heart disease in several ways. One of these is by changing how the body handles cholesterol. The immune cells in smokers are unable to return cholesterol from vessel walls to the blood for transport to the liver. This damage is related to tobacco tar, rather than nicotine. These dysfunctional immune cells may contribute to the faster development of clogged arteries in smokers. In a large study of several thousand adults in Pacific Asia, smoking was associated with decreased HDL levels and increased total cholesterol. Fortunately, giving up smoking can reverse these harmful effects. Summary, smoking appears to increase bad lipoproteins, decrease good HDL and hinder the body's ability to send cholesterol back to the liver to be stored or broken down. Quitting smoking can reverse these effects. 8. Use alcohol in moderation. When used in moderation, the ethanol in alcoholic drinks increases HDL and reduces the risk of heart disease. A study of 18 adult women found that drinking 24 grams of alcohol from white wine daily improved HDL by 5%, compared to drinking equal amounts of white grape juice. Alcohol also improves, reverse cholesterol transport, meaning cholesterol is removed from blood and vessel walls and taken back to the liver. This reduces the risk of clogged arteries and heart disease. While moderate alcohol intake reduces heart disease risk, too much alcohol harms the liver and increases the risk of dependence. The recommended limit is two drinks daily for men and one for women. Summary, one to two drinks per day may improve HDL cholesterol and reduce the risk of clogged arteries. However, heavier alcohol use increases heart disease risk and harms the liver. 9. Consider plant sterols and stanols. Multiple types of supplements show promise for managing cholesterol. Plant stanols and sterols are plant versions of cholesterol. Because they resemble cholesterol, they are absorbed from the diet like cholesterol. However, because parts of their chemistry are different from human cholesterol, they do not contribute to clogged arteries. Instead, they reduce cholesterol levels by competing with human cholesterol. When plant sterols are absorbed from the diet, this replaces the absorption of cholesterol. Small amounts of plant stanols and sterols are naturally found in vegetable oils, and are also added to certain oils and butter substitutes. One study of 60 men and women found consuming yogurt with 1 gram of plant stanols reduced LDL by about 15%, compared to a placebo. Another study showed they decreased LDL by 20%. In spite of these benefits to cholesterol, available studies have not proven that stanols or sterols decrease the risk of heart disease. The higher doses in supplements are not as well tested as the small doses in vegetable oils. Summary. Plant stanols and sterols in vegetable oil or margarines compete with cholesterol absorption and reduce LDL by up to 20%. They are not proven to reduce heart disease. 10. Try supplements. There is strong evidence that fish oil and soluble fiber improve cholesterol and promote heart health. Another supplement, coenzyme Q10, is showing promise in improving cholesterol, although its long-term benefits are not yet known. Fish oil. Fish oil is rich in the omega-3 fatty acids docosahexaenoic acid DHA, and eicosapentaenoic acid EPA. 
One study of 42 adults found that taking 4 grams of fish oil daily reduced the total amount of fat being carried in blood. In another study, taking 6 grams of fish oil daily increased HDL. A study of over 15,000 adults also found that omega-3 fatty acids, including from fish oil supplements, reduced the risk of heart disease and prolonged life expectancy. Psyllium Psyllium is a form of soluble fiber available as a supplement. A four-week study of 33 adults found that cookies enriched with 8 grams of psyllium reduced total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol by nearly 10%. Another study found similar results using a 5-gram psyllium supplement twice daily. LDL and total cholesterol decreased by about 5% over a longer, 26-week period. You can check out a selection of psyllium supplements online. Coenzyme Q10 Coenzyme Q10 is a food chemical that helps cells produce energy. It is similar to a vitamin, except that the body can produce its own Q10, preventing deficiency. Even if there is no deficiency, extra Q10 in the form of supplements may have benefits in some situations. Several studies with a total of 409 participants found coenzyme Q10 supplements reduced total cholesterol. In these studies, LDL and HDL did not change. Coenzyme Q10 supplements may also be beneficial in treating heart failure, though it's unclear whether they reduce the risk of developing heart failure or heart attacks. Summary, fish oil supplements and soluble fiber supplements like psyllium improve cholesterol and reduce the risk of heart disease. Coenzyme Q10 supplements reduce total cholesterol levels, but it's unclear whether this prevents heart disease. The bottom line. Cholesterol has important functions in the body, but can cause clogged arteries and heart disease when it gets out of control. Low-density lipoprotein LDL, is prone to free radical damage and contributes most to heart disease. In contrast, high-density lipoprotein HDL, protects against heart disease by carrying cholesterol away from vessel walls and back to the liver. If your cholesterol is out of balance, lifestyle interventions are the first line of treatment. Unsaturated fats, soluble fiber and plant sterols and stanols can increase good HDL and decrease bad LDL. Exercise and weight loss can also help. Eating trans fats and smoking is harmful and should be avoided. If you're concerned about your cholesterol levels, have them checked by your doctor. A simple blood draw, taken after an overnight fast, is all that's required.